In this video, we will learn how to create a word search in Google Docs. We're going to create a word search. Our words are going to be musical instruments. So the first thing we want to do is start with a title. I'm going to center align this, make it bold, and type in musical instruments. I'm going to press return two times, skip a little space, change my alignment back to left. I'm going to take bold off. Now we're going to create our word bank. So for our word bank, we're going to put all of our instruments in columns. This is going to be very simple using tab. So I'm going to press tab one time and put my first instrument, tar. And now I'm going to press tab again, one, two, three, four times for our next instrument, saxophone. And then one, two, three, four tabs again, and put our third instrument. Okay, now I'm ready to go to the next line. So I'll press enter or return on my keyboard. To get in line with guitar, I have to press tab again. All right, we'll put our bass here. Four more tabs. Go to cello. Four more tabs. Flute. So you can see already that our columns are going to be aligned well. I'm going to continue with the word bank. I'm going to pause the video and then come back when all the words have been typed. Okay, so we see all of our columns, all of the words in our word bank are here. Notice how they are lined up perfectly using tab. Now we're going to do, we're going to press enter two more times, right back here. And I'm going to make it about three times, three or four times. And we're going to change our alignment to center align. And now we're going to insert a table. Okay, so we go up to the insert menu, table. I'm going to make this table 15 rows by 15 columns. So we just keep expanding here. And there we have it. Okay, so now we're going to take the words from our word bank and start inserting them into our word search. Now, a few things you have to keep in mind. You want either all uppercase or all lowercase. That doesn't really matter. You want to put all of your words in first before you put all of the other text to finish. I would suggest you just either go across or go down columns. And remember, you know, so let's say I put in guitar, then saxophone, then trumpet. You want to mix them up. So if you put guitar at the top, maybe you want saxophone at the bottom, trumpet in the middle, and you can go in any direction. So I'm going to do all lowercase. Okay. G. And you can see this can be a little bit time consuming. Okay, there's guitar. So I'm going to put saxophone. I'm going to put saxophone going down. One thing you may want to consider is doing your longer words first. And then trumpet, I'm going to go backwards. T R U M P E T. And just so we're clear, we can also go diagonally. So B A S S. Okay, I'm going to pause the video again so I can finish putting in all of the words. Okay, we see we entered all of the words from our word bank. At this point, I want to put a bunch of other letters in every square. Now, one thing to keep in mind, a few things to keep in mind. First of all, I have words going in every direction. If there was a term that was actually two words, you would not skip a space. You would put it in your word search as one word. So now you're just going to start putting in random letters. Okay. 
you may, if you want to try to make it a little trickier, you may want to include like part of a word. Okay. So here's kind of part of base. I'm just going to add some different letters, make it random. If you put three of the same letters in a row, it's going to be obvious that that is not a word that we're looking for. Okay, so that you can make it a little more challenging. All right, so I will continue. I'll stop the video again and I'll fill in the rest of the text. Okay, so I have all the text in my table. Uh, one thing to keep in mind as you're navigating through your table, if you press tab when you're in a cell, it will bring you to the cell directly to the right. You could also use the arrows on your keyboard. The last thing we want to do is we want to get rid of our lines. So we're going to select the whole table. So we'll come down here, go up to table options. All right. Color. All right. So we have our border color. And we're going to make them white. And then if we click somewhere else, okay. We now see we have a word search. Okay, hope that helps you out.